What's poppin' my peeps? How's it going? So today I want to talk about that motto or that mindset, done is better than perfect. The other day, my buddies over at APX90 dropped an episode of their creator series which I was featured in where I had mentioned something about done is better than perfect. There's that term, done is better than perfect, which I love. I think it's thrown around too much and I think that people aren't really looking at how close to perfect is your done, right? Like what does your done look like? Don't set your done as a standard of it's kind of done and like I just need to post it. Whether you're just starting out or you've been doing it for many years, Creating every day as a creator, whether it's photo, video, graphic design, whatever, it's, it's very important for growth and learning and challenge yourself to try new things. When we look at that term, that motto, done is better than perfect, I think it's really important to look at what is it that you're doing. What kind of content are you creating? Are you a daily vlogger? Are you posting daily on Instagram? Are you making music videos? Are you just having fun creating content? Like what is it that you're doing? If you're creating content to post it on a platform like Instagram or YouTube, are you doing it because you're trying to grow as a creator and you want to learn and you want to eventually turn this into a career? And by career, I don't necessarily mean making money off YouTube or Instagram. I mean being a freelancer, being a freelance photographer, freelance filmmaker, freelance graphic designer. If you're doing this to eventually turn this into a freelance business, then I think it's really important not to throw around that term. I think it's so easy to get wrapped up in perfectionism, especially for something like photo, video, graphic design, you know, even sculpting or painting or whatever it is. It's so easy to get wrapped up in, in fine tuning the very little minuscule things that we would just end up cycling through it again and again and again and we would just never finish the product. A term like done is better than perfect can really help us kind of get over that idea of perfectionism and just getting things done. Getting a project done and getting it to a point that we feel is done. But something that we need to think about with that term is what does your done look like? For example, if you're doing daily vlogs, you're not really going to focus on the fine details of sound design or color grade or worrying about things like L cuts or J cuts. Chances are you might be just doing a rough cut and that might be your done. So it really depends on what kind of content you're creating and what your done is going to look like. There is a misconception that I see right now between creating and posting. I think a lot of people and a lot of younger creators especially are focusing on posting rather than creating. Now if posting on a daily basis or posting a few times a week is going to hold you accountable for creating every day, then by all means do that. Yes, that can be synonymous with growing an audience because the more you post, the more chances you have to grow your audience. But on the flip side to that, if you're trying to grow as a creator and you want to become better at your craft, focusing on the creation side of it rather than the posting side of it is going to be way more productive. And if posting is going to hold you accountable for creating, then by all means do that. But don't create to post. Create to create. Create to become better. Create to learn more. Create to challenge yourself. Create to get out of your comfort zone. And that's one of the biggest reasons on why I think done is better than perfect is thrown around way too much. We're just settling on done. We're just getting things done to post it. We're not getting things done to a point where we deem that fit for that creation. Where you can take a look at that and say, yeah, it's not perfect, but this is done. I am happy with this. I've essentially worked on it as much as I can without getting into the perfectionist mindset. That thinking is synonymous to the create everyday mindset, where I wanna create something every day and I don't need to focus on posting it. And understanding that the mindset behind create every day isn't going out, starting a project and finishing it that same day you can use, you can finish that project over a few days, but you should be working on that project every single day. One day, maybe one day you shoot it, maybe one day you edit it, maybe the next day you do sound design and color grade, so on and so forth. That isn't just applicable to photo or video, that's applicable to any form of creation. Nowadays, newer creators can utilize a platform like Instagram and YouTube to post on a daily basis so that they can learn the basics of video editing or photography or graphic design. You can use Dribbble in that aspect. But once the training wheels are off and you've figured out the basics, cut back on your posting. Still post on a consistent basis because I think that is very important for building your brand and building an audience. There's so many aspects to video. There's so many aspects to graphic design. There's so many aspects to photography. If you're doing the same thing every single day just to post it up, then you're really not taking into consideration the other aspects that you could focus on to become better and really diversify yourself as a creator. If this is your first time here, what's poppin'? My name is Burke Cullinan. I'm a freelance filmmaker, 
I also create videos on this YouTube channel and the whole reason that I did this was so that I could get into that mindset of create every day and then bring that childlike passion back to my creation. Challenge myself as a filmmaker, get out of my comfort zone, and just really hone in my style. That was a horrible catch. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash that keyboard, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell, and stay hungry. Peace! Been messing around uh, with some new lighting setups. I got that, that new Aperture Tri-8 C light right here, and one thing that I really like is that I can just just mess around with this little clicker remote thing. Pretty banging.